On this episode of Manta County EMS Training Production, we're going to talk about a new piece of equipment. But it's not for us, it's for our four-legged friends. Surgery vet. So soon, every ambulance in Manta County will be getting the surgery vet. Uh, what this is, is a, a vet mask oxygen delivery device for our four-legged friends, as we mentioned earlier. Um, in each kit, you'll have the actual mask, the tubing, and along with a, a flow chart that will help you determine what flow rate is good for your four-legged friend. To hook it up, you need a D-tank. Find your flow rate based on the chart given. Attach it to your mask. turn the device on. Most cases you'll just be using this as your uh, oxygen delivering device. It's almost like a non-rebreather for a dog or cat. Um, in some cases in which the dog isn't breathing or the cat is not breathing, you may uh, need a BVM. To do that, you're going to take off this plastic piece that comes in there, disconnect the oxygen, pull out your BVM, Attach your, attach your oxygen to your, your BVM to your oxygen source. You really want to make sure first, and, and really the most important thing, is safety. So if we think about uh, a combative patient or an air hungry patient, we know that they're going to be somewhat uh, agitated and can be difficult to manage. It's the same thing here. Um, they're almost like the same mentality of a, a very small child. They have no idea what you're going to do, so it takes, or it may take, a lot of coaching. In this instance, I'm going to hold Harvey's hand because <laughs> it's what he wants me to do, but we're going to coach him through this process. Um, at any time you start to see an aggression, remove yourself from the situation and, and uh, allow animal services or the owner to kind of take control of it. Um, they both have a, a, a important part in something like this or an event like this. Ideally, it would be um, the responsibility of the owner to manage a situation like this or to, uh, to handle the care of, of a dog or a cat that's, that's injured or ill. Um, but in the event that that's not uh, able to happen, animal services will, will help us out. Now, they don't do any treatment, so their uh, role is to transport the sick or injured animal to uh, an emergency vet. Uh, they have two in the, in the county that they have contracts with and they'll, they'll help to get that animal stabilized. But going back to what we would do, um, assuming the animal's able to be approached, um, looking at their, their body language, if they start growling or, or showing teeth, uh, again, try to remove yourself. Um, you can put a barrier between you or, or yourself. Again, it really just depends on your comfort or how you know the animal. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, please remove yourself from the situation and allow uh, the, the owner or animal services to take control of the animal. Um, but for us, if you want to wear your bunker coat, that's fine. Just know that it only provides a limited, uh, about a limited bit of uh, protection for, your, for yourself or your person. So the application, again, starts with, um, let me lay down, um, the oxygen itself. We have the tubing. We're going to attach the tubing. Yeah, I know, buddy. Um, we're going to select how many liters. For, so for our large canines, it's five to seven liters. So I'll put him at six. I'm going to talk, attach the, he might be a little nervous about it. Sit, sit. I'm going to attach the oxygen to it. And just allow him to kind of feel and know that's not going to hurt him. Yeah, he's nervous about it. Sit. And just a blow by. Now, ideally, you would like to go on, on their face. Um, for your smaller animals, a blow by is fine. Um, for this size mask, it'll fit a dog this size. Um, and again, if you just want to do some blow by initially to get them used to the mask, um, if you need to, you can use a leash um, to kind of muzzle the, the, uh, the animal a little bit, enough so that uh, you feel safe and the animal uh, can't uh, necessarily bite you. Again, 
if at any time you feel that your safety is at jeopardy, remove yourself from the situation. So with Harvey, he tried the mask on earlier. We just put it on his mouth like that, let him feel it, and just kind of coach him through it, okay? Um, not that bad, was it? No. Um, for cats or smaller dogs, their heads may fit all the way inside of here. That's fine. Just please make sure you're, you're using the flow rate that's dictated in the chart. The last piece I want to mention is uh, it's our expectation um, that our equipment stays with us. This is a, a reusable piece of equipment. Ideally, what we'd like from y'all is to uh, use it on scene, um, get the animal back to a state in which the owner can take possession of it, um, and, and obviously uh, seek medical attention or highly recommend that anytime you give a dog oxygen that they seek medical, medical attention um, at their veterinarian or whoever that may be. Um, these are washable, but I, w I want you all to know that it's, it, it, what we want as far as the treatment goes is, is really based on on-scene treatment. We're not going to be transporting these animals. I think that's fairly obvious, but I want to make sure that that's all, all that's really clear. Um, and the same thing goes with our D-tanks. Um, this is a medical device. Um, it's the county's medical device, and uh, our treatment really just uh, is pertaining with, with these folks or with these animals um, to on-scene treatment. Um, so these D tanks come back with us. If there's a fire department on scene um, and they want to, or they're going to be on scene a little bit longer, I'd recommend you transferring that oxygen mask to their D tanks. Um, that's perfectly appropriate. Um, and there's also private services out there that transfer uh, or transport sick and injured animals. Some even have ambulance-like uh, equipment um, that they can transport uh, the animal to a, a veterinarian of, of the, uh, the owner's choice. Um, we don't recommend a specific, specific provider, but uh, you can recommend that uh, or educate them on that, on that opportunity for them. Are you done? Okay. Yeah.